Hey folks, from using my GoPro, I found that when you start adding on-screen stickers, like speed, distance and height and that stuff, um, you can add it on the GoPro app without issue. However, most of us want to apply our own edits on our own editing software outside of the app, uh, and that's when things get difficult. Now, GoPro did actually implement a workaround to this. It's a standalone software called GoPro Telemetry Extractor. Uh, this software you do need to buy and as of today it's pretty expensive i think it's standing at around 250 dollars um, it is an editing software but for 250 quid to be honest your money can be much better spent i will leave a link in the description if that interests you but it's not the intention of today's video this video however is simply to show you how to apply your telemetry data from your GoPro video um, and bring that to desktop for further editing on your preferred software. Taking you to my desktop app here where I've preloaded the video that I chose to use um, for this tutorial. Um, it's already on the GoPro Quick Desktop app and here's an example of, of what it would look like on the app itself. Now if I go into the edit section it only lets me pick, you know, a 60 second snapshot, 30 to 60 second snapshot. And if I double click on the footage, you know, it doesn't even let me use the stickers. It doesn't add, let me add the telemetry data. So um, needless to say, the GoPro Quick Desktop app just doesn't do um, justice. So I'm going to start this tutorial in the GoPro Quick app and then show you how to bring that video after you add the stickers to desktop and then bring it into your preferred um, editing software. So let's head over to the uh, to the GoPro app and take it from there. When you get home after capturing footage and your GoPro connects to your Wi-Fi, it will automatically upload your footage to the GoPro cloud in the app. Once that's done, head to the app, click on gallery, then click on your cloud tab, click on your video that you wanna download, hit the three dots and just click the download button. From there, we just wait for the uh, the app to download the video. So I'll give it a couple of seconds here and uh, I'll let you know the next steps. So when your video saves to the app, just hit continue, go back to the app tab, click on the video you want to edit. Once in edit, Click on your stickers tab and then just simply add your telemetry preferences and then hit save. Once you save the video, click the arrow at the top right hand corner and you should have an option to save that video to your phone. Uh, so we'll give it some time here for it to save to the phone and I'll show you what to do after that. So once saved, head to your mobile phone gallery and just double check the video is there. Now it has the stickers you want on the video. In my case, it is, as you can see. From here, all I need to do is just grab a, a mobile phone to desktop cable, just the USB cable, uh, stick that into the computer, drag the folder from my mobile phone to my desktop and start editing. So I'll just give you an example as to how that looks. So right here it's loading, it finds all the folders. I select the file I want. I import that to my desktop. From here, check the box. Once it's fully imported, drag it onto your desktop and you're good to go. Now, something to keep in mind is I'm obviously using an Android phone. So if you have an Apple or if you have any other device, the interface when you plug your phone into the desktop might be slightly different, but in principle, you're doing the same thing. You're just plugging the device into the desktop, finding the file on your phone and dragging it onto your desktop. One last point to mention, I've done this many times and I've not lost any resolution in my footage. I'm still able to upload in 4K without any issues. Hopefully this helped you. If it did, drop a like, drop a comment with your YouTube channel so I can check out your content and have a good day. Cheers.